my movies to watch because there's two of them and they're related and connected um, they're two documentaries one is on Netflix I think one is on Disney I think and I'd recommend you watch them in, in this order as well so the first one is a film called a documentary called The Dawn Wall made there in 2017 it's about Tommy Caldwell who attempts to scale where it was deemed the impossible 3,000 foot dawn wall of El Capitan in California. His climbing partner, Kevin Jorgensen, I think, I don't know, I think that's how you pronounce it, had never done anything like this before. He was, a, he was a top class free climber, but this was like way out of his comfort zone. Like he says like he'd never done anything close to this. Like there are many different paths up El Capitan um, but this one was the hardest and had never been done before. Um, Tommy Caldwell, he'd climbed all, you know, loads of the other paths. Um, so knew El Capitan well. Kevin didn't, never climbed any of them. So, and it's just a great, it's a great story. I can't recommend this more. You know, in it, Tommy, it's, you know, had a few things in life shit to get over he was kidnapped at 22 by rebels in Karakstan or somewhere over there um, he had to push one off a cliff just to escape then he lost his index finger um, and they said so you lose your index finger basically shouldn't be able to climb shit guess what <laughs> um, uh, and then he got divorced so it kind of goes through all that and then at the time he just had to do it spent years going over the route himself and then himself and kevin and uh, practicing it and but kept failing and but just kept that dream alive so then they go do it 19 days i think they spent on the wall again climbing what many call the hardest route ever climbed and it's a, it's a great story. It's so... I get emotional with these things. but I, And you do. And again, the story isn't... You know, them climbing it isn't straightforward. It kind of blew me away. The, the perseverance, the denial at times, the stubbornness of a near obsessive level, and, and then obviously talent and, and, and just drive. Like, 19 days, like, they, they sleep in a tent... You know, that's no bigger than your normal family car. Attached to the side of the cliff. Like one of the nights there was a storm and it's the tents are all shaking. Fair do was no problem. But when I was watching it a good few weeks ago, you know, it was during lockdown. Everyone's complaining of lockdown and, oh, I can't get out and I'm stuck here in this, you know, I'm stuck in this house. <laughs> These two guys are stuck with just the two of them. In these two tents for 19 days so yeah I'm at home my wife and kids yeah not a, not a problem but it was just it was amazing and um, I watched this I was I mean, you cannot help but be inspired I felt good and then I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought what have, what have you done You've done nothing. You're in your mid forties. Nothing. Except get fear to go watching this documentary. I have a big I have a big television, so you know, that's there were a few moments. Can't recommend this more. And this rec this leads on to the second one. And this one I think you should watch second. Because I, mean, I know nothing about climbing. Nothing. But I learned enough from the Don Wall to make what realise just what this guy did. Like this is bad shit, crazy shit. I was emotionally drained. I really was. Come here, I was exhausted just from watching it. So she goes to show what a lazy git I am. This one's free solo made in 2018 actually a friend of Tommy Caldwell's 
guy called Alex Honnold as he attempts to become the first free solo climber of El Capitan. Now, free solo is no rope, no nothing, no safety net. 3,000 plus feet up one of the hardest cliff wall in the world. Some say the hardest. Now, obviously he didn't do the same route as his friend Tommy Caldwell did. Didn't go up the Don Wall, obviously. So he picked the easiest one. Now, that might sound a bit... I picked the easiest one. Now, that's why I go watch the Don Wall and you'll realise that the easiest one is still the hard, you know, one of the hardest climbs still. But like I said, this is batshit crazy. No rope, no nothing, no safety net, just him. There was a quote in it, because I wrote it down here, describing what his feet is or what he has to do. Um, and they said, imagine an Olympic gold medal level athletic achievement that if you don't get that gold medal, you're going to die. That's pretty much what free soloing El Cap is like. It, it won an, an Oscar, by the way. But this is, it's, it's amazing. I mean, you see this guy, he's just going up 100 foot, 200 foot of, of a cliffside, you know, like I mess on a rock at the beach it's nearly like he's jogging at times it's amazing yeah this guy is he's just obsessive you could say but he's driven but as he says in the, in the film i think this is the thing he loves doing more than anything else i think his mother says this is the thing that makes him the most alive so watch this one second because the first one will give you an idea of just what an achievement this was Seriously, I became so invested and emotional during this. I'm not going to, there's tears in my eyes at the end. And there was a bit when I stood up a few times, actually, so shouting at the television or just head in my, you know, head in my hands. But there was one, which I, I, I was shouting, what the fuck? So the morning, I can't remember whether it was the morning or one of the mornings, his, his girlfriend told him that she had a dream the night before where he fell and died. And I'm going, what are you doing? But in hindsight, looking back, it's kind of actually funny and I kind of understand a little bit, you know. I think if you were in her shoes at the time, I understand, you know, why she did it. But like I said, watch this film. It'll blow you. It should blow you away. It's amazing. But here's the thing, these two movies, where they need to be watched. Because something has been forgotten, I think. And apart from them being amazing, it's this common thing that we see in people who do who do great shit. They don't have easy lives. They had to overcome something. No one did it for them. They did it for themselves. Like Tommy losing his finger should should have been game over. Alex's mom, I think, used to tell him basically whatever he did was not good enough so he would drive him on so he could do better. Well, this drove him on and he says this in the film. And this was the line that really stuck in my head. He says it to his girlfriend. And it's stuck in me since I've seen it. And he says, Happy people don't do great things. I think that's... There's a lot in that. Happy people don't do great things. And it's true. 